to spend all my money because I am. Yeah. But before we get started, let's address the elephant in the room, which are my new sunglasses I got from today's sponsor, GlassesUSA.com. Now, if you don't already know, Glasses USA is one of the largest glasses retailers in the United States, offering thousands of eyeglasses and sunglasses like Ray-Bans, Gucci, Prada, but also these cute ones like this. But I think the best thing about GlassesUSA.com is the fact that their glasses start at only $39, which is up to 70% off retail prices. Insane. Insane. And what's also very cool is GlassesUSA.com just launched their brand new fantastic collection, handpicked and curated by the amazing actress Marseille Martin, inspired by her advocacy for positive representation and breaking barriers. You can check out the collection exclusively on GlassesUSA.com and by clicking on the link in my description box where you can see all the beautiful frames I'm about to show you, as well as some incredible deals that you'll only get here for my subscribers, because I love you. And if you're not looking for sunglasses and you don't have prescription glasses, that's okay because they also have a really advanced blue light glasses collection. Now, I love blue light glasses because they're ideal for when you're using screens like computers or your phones and it helps with eye strain, it decreases headaches and improves your overall sleep and increases your productivity because you're not worried about the headache that you're getting from staring at a screen all day. So if you also want some blue light glasses, please use the link in the description as well. Now, even though all of these things are great, I think my favorite thing about shopping with glasses USA.com is the fact that they have a live try on tool on their website. Shopping online can be fun, but it can also be extremely overwhelming, especially with so many options. That's why I love shopping for my new glasses with GlassesUSA.com. They offer some amazing tools to help you find your perfect pair. And one of those tools, as I mentioned, is the AR Virtual Try On. I used it to find all of my frames and it was so helpful. Also, shopping online at GlassesUSA.com is a risk free shopping experience with free shipping and returns and 100% money back guarantee within 14 days. So there's nothing not to love. I especially love these. I absolutely love sunglasses, especially like the retro rectangle vibe. That's what we're going for today. But if this is your thing, I also got some blue light glasses because again, I'm always in front of a computer. So I got these bad boys. You guys aren't ready. You're not ready, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Is it Clark Kent? No, it's Kalila Deep. How cute are these? I absolutely love them. I've been using them every day since I got them. They're really, really great, especially if you're on the computer all the time. So again, if you wanna try some of these frames too, please use the link in my description box. It's only good for 24 hours. So if you don't wanna miss this crazy exclusive deal, please click as soon as you can, and let's get back to the video. Again, thank you Glasses USA for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now, I love these blue light glasses, but we're gonna switch on over to these sunglasses because we going outside. Are you ready to spend money? Because I am. I saved up for today. Today is our last bookstore vlog for the summer. So we have to do it big. I'm very excited. Let's go. Now before we check out the fit. And my hair is in a ponytail. Sorry to stun on y'all like this. Also, let's say goodbye to the hair because just like my straight hair face, this braid phase is going out with the summer as well. She had a good run though. All right guys, we made it to Barnes. I'm very, very excited for today because we're not just buying books as usual. Today I wanna buy one color or one book for every color in the rainbow. And I got this idea from one of my favorite booktubers. Her name is Just Allie and she just recently did that and I was like, wow, that's a great way to end the summer bookstore vlogs for 2023. And that like alone drives me insane because I cannot believe we're almost done with 2023. Like we're literally about to start getting ready for fall. When I go into stores now, there's Halloween stuff. How is this even happening? Like, where did the year go? I'm shook. Like, I cannot believe it. So, even though I love fall and I love Christmas time and winter, I feel like this is a great way to just really hone in on the summer vibes. I know it's going to be warm for like one or two more weeks, but at least in my state, it starts getting cold very quickly. So, I'm just going to soak up the sun as much as possible today and hopefully find some really good books. I do want to find mostly thrillers. I mean, of course, you know, I'm always going to look for my romance because that's who we are. But I also want to find some like wintry fall cold like 
creepy books you know i'm hoping that a lot of the colors that we find will also have those thrillers but worst case scenario you know we can always find a good romance we can always find a good fantasy or something like that too so i'm kind of just open for anything i'm very excited to see what we'll find and i feel like this challenge is really going to open our eyes to books that we've never bought before or never would have looked at before because i never go in looking at the colors obviously i'm going in with books like that i know i'm gonna like or i know that i've heard of before but with this new perspective i feel like we're gonna find a lot of gems that we haven't looked at before and i'm very very excited for that so let's stop talking and get out of this hot car and get into the store Shut up. <laughs> I'm watching YouTube videos. No, you do I'm not. Oh my god, this is the first time anyone's recognized me. Wait, can you be in my video? Oh, is that okay? It's okay. Guys, look who I just found. A subscriber. <laughs> What's your name? Venice. Venice. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet nice you. To meet Thank you, you for watching my content. <laughs> you have a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe. but I'm having fun. I'm currently looking for a blue book. Okay, blue and green are the hardest colors to find so far, but I'm gonna count this as my blue and get out of here. That was so much harder than I thought it was going to be, but it was really, really fun. I found a lot of books that I know for a fact I would never have picked up otherwise, but it took me like an hour longer than usual, which is insane. I just, I've never considered looking at the colors and now I have like a brand new appreciation for it because man, that was really tough. But I do have really good books and I'm very excited, so let's get home.
I think we did our normal damage. I think I got nine or 10 books. You know, it may have been 10. I think it was 10, but it's fine because right at the end, I got a $15 discount because I come here all the time and it finally racked up and my girl Victoria rang us up and it was just the best thing ever because it went from like 50 to 30 and then I got another sale because I got like some books that were on sale right now and then it came down to like 120 so I'm not mad. <laughs> Let's head home. All right, we're back. Before we get into the goods, let's all clap it up as a community for Venice because she literally made my day, my year, like everything. She deserves a slow clap. When I tell you, I was shook. I mean, like, like literally. I think I was malfunctioning because as I was talking to her, I, I turned off the camera. I don't think you guys saw this part, but like, I just didn't know what to do. I was so completely shook yeah shook is the word of the day yeah i was shook that she recognized me like when i film these videos it literally is just me and my camera i've gotten used to talking to my camera now it feels like a diary but i know i'm talking to real people in my mind right but i never thought like someone would recognize me i kind of just film a video be myself and just put it out into the abyss and don't think anything of it right but for it to become reality, like the people I comment back to, see them in real life, I was completely malfunctioning. So, Venice, if you're watching this, I am so sorry. I wanted to ask you for a hug, but I literally didn't think about it until five minutes after talking to you. I just, I, I didn't know what to do. Literally, <laughs> stop saying literally, Clela. Literally. After talking to her, I just hid behind a bookshelf and I just stood there like, that just happened like I just can't believe it you guys are the freaking best I always say it but I love you so much forehead kisses for everyone mwah, mwah, mwah. especially you Venice uh, you just made my life so there's that she is the very first person the very first subscriber that I got the honor to meet in person and you just made my day this is why I do it like it just means so much to me that people genuinely like me and the stuff that I put out into the internet, like, she blew my mind today. She blew my mind. Crazy. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm gonna cry about this after this video. <laughs> but before that, before my meltdown, let's talk about the books we got. This challenge was way harder than I thought it would be. But honestly, in the best way. Like, it felt like a real challenge. And I was here for it. It made me stay in the store for way longer than I should have. But I'm not mad at it because we got some fire books. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do the whole Roy G. Biv situation. I've wanted to read Fahrenheit by Ray Bradbury for the longest time. I think the first time I saw it was from the Gilmore Girls. Rory was reading it in one of the episodes and I was like, yeah, we gotta read that. Then the other one I got is The Vegetarian by Han Kang. And I read uh, The Human Acts by her before too, and she's an incredible writer. And I'm very excited to see if this is worth the hype as well. Then for my yellow book, I got another Abby Jimenez book. This is my second Abby Jimenez. The first one I read was Yours Truly, and I really like that. I read that on my Kindle. But now we have a physical book from Abby Jimenez. This is Life's Too Short, and it's apparently just as funny and just as cute as yours truly, so I'm very excited. Hopefully, there's no miscommunication in third act breakup, because those are like my pet peeves, and she did that in the last book, but I'm having really, really high hopes for this one. Then for my orange book, in the last video that I just posted, someone told me I should read Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams, so I got it. I love her braids, by the way. They look way better than mine right now. Mine have been in here way too long, but that's fine. This is supposed to be a romance too, so I'm very excited about this one and it's such a cute cover and I love that her braids go in between the words I just noticed that very cute good job Candace. my green book is the inheritance games I see this book everywhere I've been really avoiding this series because I'm kind of scared of book talk recommendations ever since the ones that I got before we're not gonna say any names I don't know I've just been very scared of getting book talk recommendations and this one is always recommended on book talk but I couldn't find any other green book. This was the hardest color to find. Blue was kind of hard too, but I think this one was really hard because all the green books that I already have, they had at the bookstore, and I can't obviously get the same ones over and over again, and I just couldn't find any of them that looked 
like I wanted to read them or sounded like I wanted to read them. So this was my last hope. I'm hoping that it's good. I'm hoping that it's more than just hype, but we'll see. I'm kind of scared about this one. Then for my blue book, this is a really light blue book, but we're gonna count it anyway. This is This Is How You Lose the Time War by Max Gal Max Gladstone. <laughs> and I've heard very good things about this one too. Someone recommended this to me on Goodreads. Follow my Goodreads. And they said that it was one of their favorite books, like all time favorite books, like Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine kind of favorite book. So I was like, okay, you hyped it up. I'm gonna listen to you. So I got it. Then for my pink book, this is a book I've been wanting to read for the longest time. And it's perfect because we're gonna be heading into fall pretty soon. And I feel like this is really gonna be the great jumpstart for me in my thriller series for fall. And this is Finley Donovan is Killing It. I've heard so many great things about this book. I'm very, very excited about it. Very. It's a murder being a hit mom. How cute. And there's glasses back there. Very cute. Then for my purple book, I got Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I've never read this classic, so I'm very excited. And look at how pretty the cover is. Whoever's doing the signature classics now, they need a raise because man, every single one is so pretty. And look at the inside, are you kidding me? Then after the purple one, I also got this one. It's a tan book, but I really wanted to get it because this is a book I always see at Barnes and Noble, and that is A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. This is also a classic, and just look at how pretty this is. So I'm excited about this one. And then we were gonna end here. This was gonna be a wrap, right? But then, you know I saw Victoria. She was telling me, I need to read Big Swiss, which <laughs> looks absolutely insane. Look at this cover. <laughs> She's having a day. But she told me this book is like really funny, whimsical, and just crazy, and I would really enjoy it. And so far, she has not missed, so we got it. I literally checked out, got this book, and went right back into the line. <laughs> So yeah, she's the reason why I have a problem, but I'm okay with that. We're really gonna get her to be my friend. Does she wait, Victoria? I hope she doesn't watch this. I'm not, I'm not crazy, I promise. I just, I think you're cool and I'm cool, so let's be cool together. <laughs> you too, Anise. <laughs> so I can't wait to read this one. I think I'm gonna read this this fall because it kind of gives me like the eerie, creepy, whimsical feeling that you get with fall and colder weather. So this will be a read before the end of the year. I'm pretty sure of it. And without further ado, we just bought the rainbow. Some people taste the rainbow, but we bought it. <laughs> Skittle sponsor me. And this is what we ended up with. I'm pretty proud. And I love you guys. And I love you, Venice. Let's be friends. <laughs> And before I let you go, don't forget to use the link in the description box for glassesusa.com. It's a special deal for only my subscribers and I highly recommend that you take advantage of it. All right, that's it for me. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.